Hey, what up, old tree group? I'm back in the house. Um, I got some really good responses from my video discussing solvent-free oil painting. And I got some requests to make some more videos. So I'm doing my damnedest right now. I'm very tired from a long day of work. And I've gotten some amazing new opportunities in my career as a, as a gardener and ecological artist. And I've been flying back and forth from New York to California on a regular. And the travel has been really uh, taking a toll on my immune system and my spirit. I don't know, that flight, like that jet lag, is it's for real. But anyways, um, on a brighter note, you know, I'm definitely taking time to continue my pursuit as a painter and an ecological artist and an environmentally conscious human being. So on my last video, like I said, I talked a bit about solvent-free oil painting and I discussed my, one of my favorite companies in the game, M. Graham. They make an amazing product, uh, walnut-based oil paints, mediums, solvent-free, way to go. Um, and then I mentioned my other favorite company, Gamblin, one of their biggest competitors probably in the world that they're in, their neighbors, and and I consider them both to be really good good companies. So I've talked to representatives from Gamblin and they have a tendency to say some negative things about M. Graham, but at the end of the day, I think they're both really good companies and like it doesn't matter what anybody says to me. I make my own decisions and that's what I'm sharing with you right now. So solvent free, we're going to talk a little bit about the treatment of your platform or a canvas or panel, whatever you're into. You know, one of the things that I've always kind of liked to do with my paintings and with my preparation of my surface is I like natural texture, color, quality. And what I mean by natural is just kind of like something in its raw form in this case. So, you know, it's like when you get a sheet of canvas, uh, that cotton canvas, just the color of the cotton and the feel of that material is really nice. And then you go ahead and like cover it up with, with a uh, um, gesso or however you may treat it, but you're losing that, like the quality of the material in a way you're kind of covering it up. So I was like at one point kind of researching, well, what can I do to preserve and use the platform as part of the kind of piece and like appreciating the quality of the fabric or the wood material typically like I'm with oils I tend to either paint on fabric meaning like canvas or linen or else on wood and I've gone between masonite and solid wood and plywood and there's definitely some things that I've learned along the way there. And if I get a chance, I'll get into it with this video. But so firstly, I was going to just talk about this PVA sizing. And, you know, you guys might know more than me about how to prep a canvas or linen. You know, I've always just taken the approach of just going with straight gesso. Like I don't do the canvas. I don't do this sizing and then the powder and mixing it up and whatever else, you know, I'm, I know a little bit about it and I'd be interested to experiment with it and I probably should. Like the fact I have it is is um, a little bit sad because I like to try everything but at least once. But this PVA sizing, the way I've used it is as a alternative to rabbit skin glue. So, you know, I'm not a vegetarian and I respect all life, you know, so I respect like animals and plants. Um, and what I eat, like I like it to be taken well care of, whatever. I try to avoid chemicals. So at the end of the day, I'm not really sure what the PVA sizing is, but I know that it's, I mean, I know what it is. It's a post-plasticized neutral pH polyvinyl acetate. So, you know, this stuff is heavily processed, but it's an alternative to rabbit skin glue, you know, if, if that means something to you. And it acts in the same way. But what I like about this stuff and I like about Gamblin is that even when they're synthetic formulas behind their product, they try to do 
what I believe in my heart, they try to do their best for the environment and for the health of the planet and the people. So I trust these guys. I'd let you know, I'm a little bit naive to what the recipe is. If anybody knows more about this post plasticized neutral pH polyvinyl acetate, let me know. Or if you have any other ideas for alternatives to rabbit skin glue, what I use this for is so that I will prime my canvas, or my linen with this stuff, and then I can paint oil straight over the top of it. It's a way of protecting and sealing your fabric so that you're it's transparent. It does change the color of the canvas a little bit, but if you're working on canvas and you want that natural kind of material to show through, <clears throat> this this is one option, and I like it. But I should probably learn more about what it's made out of. And that goes for the rest of Gamblin's products. Like um, these guys, so it says true historic working properties, safe, safer, and more permanent, Galkid, Gamblin. You know, this company has been, as my understanding, was hired by the Smithsonian at one point, Smithsonian Museum, <laughs> to, um, to replicate like old school mediums and to do it in a more environmentally and health conscious way. And they did that, and that's kind of what their, part of what their business is all about. So this, these are two different things. Like the Gamsol is basically a paint thinner. It's like, it's a, the equivalent of like a uh, terpenoid or terpen or terpenoid. Well, that's a different world that I'm jumping into. Um, you, man, I haven't worked with solvents in so long. I'm forgetting the name of them. Um, terpens. Terpens are like essential oils. I don't know what... Uh, Terpenoid? Uh, well, whatever. So essentially, this is a paint thinner, and it's a good one. You know, if you're going to use a paint thinner, this is a good one. Solvent. Um, it's low, low VOC, so it's putting off a lot less vapor into the air for you to breathe. And, you know, definitely don't want to pour this in your garden. You know, you don't want to feed your plants this stuff or, or take a little. <laughs> Probably not. I don't even think it would be a very good buzz. So this though is an alternative, good alternative for a solvent if you're gonna use one. This right here is their Galkid, which is this Alkid resin. Um, it's a petroleum byproduct. Oh man, I feel bad. I feel like I'm telling you guys not the right thing to do. But anyways, if you're gonna use, sometimes you have to use synthetic shit and sometimes you have to fuck around with the bullshit. I hate this part of my mouth, but man, that's the reality. And if anybody has alternatives, let me know. But this is what I use to treat wood when I want to paint on a wood panel and kind of keep that natural surface. So I called into Gamblin. The people there are super cool, very friendly and helpful. If you ever have any questions about paint, medium, whatever, Gamblin products, call them. And there's somebody there that will answer the phone and they'll answer your questions. So that's pretty awesome. Anyways, I take this stuff and I do 50% Gamsol, 50% Galkid. Boom, I mix that up and I just treat the wood with that. One coat will do it. Once you coat that wood, you're good just to paint right on it. And this stuff is pretty much transparent. It's not gonna affect the, uh, the color or texture of the natural qualities of the wood. So, you know, this is what I recommend for treating wood right now. This is what I use to treat my canvas. And once again, you know, this is environmentally conscious radio. I, I'm an ecological artist and I care about the type of products that I'm using. But right now, this is what I've got and this is kind of how I do it. I've been doing a bit more like watercolors and sketches lately, um, mostly just because I've been traveling. But I just love the qualities of oil paint. So... And I like to do it in a, in a healthy way for both myself, the planet, people around me, the atmosphere, and the, the good vibes. So peace to everybody who's watched my videos. Hopefully you'll, you'll find this one. And um, maybe you've got some input. You got something to say like, 
I'd love to hear some comments about the way that you paint and are working towards doing something in a more sustainable way. That would be awesome. Peace, everybody.